Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love, what can you expect in love, what are you um, gonna be dealing with in the near future, and who you might be dealing with, what are the energies between you. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, Sagittarius, let's see. Messages for Sagittarius, what's coming your way in love? What's coming Sagittarius' way in love, spirit? What's coming their way in love? Now I'm still um, f doing the finishing touches on this deck, so some cards might look a little bit different than what you see here today. Just keep in mind that I don't have like a final deck yet. Um, I'm getting it soon though. All right, for Sagittarius. Hidden feelings, silence, suppression, dishonesty, keeping thoughts and emotions hidden, only causes pain interesting so someone here could be hiding obviously how they feel maybe they're just suppressing something and they should speak up what else for Sagittarius what else what's coming their way in love reach out contact touch communication reach out to those you love with a gentle touch or a sweet message so I feel like this is what's going to be happening for you uh, this month. Someone's going to reach out and open up their feelings for you or open their heart to you or say something, you know, that they've been holding back. And this is kind of a common theme in some of the readings I've been doing for this month. All right, let's see what else do we have for you with the romance angels here. Any other messages for Sagittarius spirit when it comes to love for Sagittarius? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, what else? What else? For Sagittarius. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind and pay attention to the red flags. What else? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so this is what I'm picking up. I'm picking up whoever this is for the Sagittarius um, that I'm talking to um, because this reading will not resonate with everyone watching. So for those of you that I am talking to here, um, this person has kept their feelings hidden because they don't think that their feelings are going to be reciprocated. Um, they don't think you're going to have an open mind um, when it comes to them, possibly here. We'll see what the tarot has to say. Now, keep in mind, these readings are general. So take what resonates, leave the rest. It might be that the whole reading does not resonate 100%, and that's okay. Um, it might not resonate for you at all, Sagittarius. So if that's the case, then check out your other placements in your chart if they're more prominent or check back next week. Maybe it'll resonate for you then. For Sagittarius spirit, what's coming their way in love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. All of your likes and your subscribes help the channel grow. So thank you for that. I can't respond to every comment, but I do read them all. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into this. What's coming their way in love spirit for Sagittarius? What is coming their way in love? Now that pay attention to the red flags. It could be that your so spirit could be trying to communicate to you in some way, and you need to be open or receptive to that. So make sure your intu intuition is really strong at this time. Make sure that you're paying attention to those signs, dreams, um, whatever it kind of sticks out at you. Seven of cups and ace of wands. Beautiful. Something new, but I feel like it's going to require some sort of choice here. Um, evaluating a choice, thinking of options, choosing the right cup.
What else for Sagittarius? What's coming their way in love? What's coming their way in love? King of Cups reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. See, I feel like someone's in their feelings because they really are doubting that you feel the same way. Or this could be you, Sagittarius, doubting that someone feels the same way for you. Um, this reading could be all about you or it could be about anybody that's around your energy. That's how energy works. So keep that in mind. To avoid confusion, I'm going to say that this reading is about you. But um, I wanted to mention that as well. So I feel like someone here is kind of um, emotionally unbalanced when it comes to uh, their feelings, um, whether someone feels the same way, whether the feelings are mutual. Should they reach out? Should they open up? Will there be heartbreak here? You know, will, will they be successful? Will they have this new beginning that they want here? Now, the Seven of Cups, it's a card all about temptation uh choosing the right cup being confused um trying to figure out what's real and what's fantasy right like choosing the right cup because not every cup here is what it seems if you look very closely there's like a snake on the top of this cup up there there's like a skull in this cup right here so not every cup here is the right choice they all look good but not all of them are the right choice. So with the seven of cups here, I feel like someone really needs to decide the right choice for them. And so it makes sense that I have pay attention to the red flags and keep an open mind here. This could be a choice about someone uh, between two people, uh, between the past or the future, between uh, something old, something new, um, whether to go out with someone, give someone the time of day, um, so let's see, let's clarify. Using the Radiant Wise Spirit deck today, all the decks that I'm using are linked down below. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Sagittarius. Let's see what these are all about. Let me clarify these energies for Sagittarius, please. There's definitely a new beginning here, a new uh, opportunity here with the Ace of Wands, something to begin a new adventure. So let's clarify. Tell me about this Seven of Cups spirit. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The High Priestess, because something's unknown. There could be something that's kind of a mystery here, um, something that's not being said that's causing confusion. Kind of goes with what this whole reading is saying so far. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Six, yeah, Six of Pentacles. Does someone feel the same way? Are we on the same page here? Um, what I'm giving to this person, will they give me the same in return? Anything else for Sagittarius? What is the Seven of Cups about? It's almost like someone's confused whether they should make this. Yeah. Should I open up or should I stay quiet? Four of Swords. Will opening up be the right choice? Have the Queen of Cups reverse. Again, in their feelings. A lot of thinking here. A lot of wondering, reflecting here with the uh, Four of Swords. No action. Uh, with the Four of Swords and the High Priestess, it could be that there's not a lot of communication here. Or at least the communication has nothing to do with what someone really wants to say. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Why is this Ace of Wands here? The Lover's Reverse. Gemini energy, a choice between two. The lover's reverse can be a regret over a choice. It could be a, a separation. It could be that um, there's been some sort of disconnect here in a, in a partnership. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands. What's Ace of Wands about? 
Eight of Wands. Wow, movement, fast communication, fast movement here. Exciting news. With the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands, this is like excitement. Something quickly coming together, happening here. Can I get one more for this uh, Ace of Wands, please? Six of Swords wanted to come out. This is why I put cards back, because if they're meant to come out, they will. Departure, transition, moving towards something more stable, more peaceful, more calm. They don't have the Page of Cups here, with the Page of Pentacles right behind that. So it's almost like someone's thinking, should I move forward here and express how I feel? Makes perfect sense. Page of Cups is, is here with hidden feelings um, and reach out. Uh, this could be, for some of you, someone that you already separated from, someone that left a connection. Um, they could be apologizing for that or communicating um, that they still feel a certain way. This is about communication here, this Ace of Wands. Whatever is communicated is starting something new. And I feel like the communication has something to do with, like, I made the wrong choice, I have regret over not doing something, um, I have regret over something not coming together, choosing the wrong partner, making something like that with the lovers reverse. So it could be, it could go both ways. Um, there could be someone from the past that you already ended things with, with the lovers reverse that could be coming back um, to communicate how they feel. Someone interested in you could leave a connection for you as well. Regardless, there's just communication here that's starting something new and whatever departure this is, is I feel towards that new beginning. Tell me about this King of Cups reverse. Oh, that was fast. King of Wands and the Eight of Cups reverse. Now I know I'm gonna get some people in the comments. Why are you always talking about the past? <laughs> Why are you always talking about people returning? Well, because the cards are here. What do you want me to tell you? I have no control over what comes out. Eight of Cups Reverse. This is a card all about uh, returning to what you left behind in the past. Someone walked away and is now coming back. Um, the Eight of Cups Reverse can also mean that you need to leave a situation, but you are unwilling or unable to do so. So it could go both ways here. Um, I have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like whoever is returning or trying to leave, it's for a reason. Like they, there's something that they want, something that they're attracted to here. I feel like someone, even though they're unsure of their feelings or they're emotionally um, overwhelmed or off balance, um, it's not going to keep them from acting. Tell me more about this King of Cups reverse. Can you tell me about this King of Cups reverse? Hermit reversed, Virgo energy. Virgo, um, Virgo energy. Hermit reversed. Um, this is someone who is maybe too withdrawn, too shut out, uh, ignoring advice or ignoring their inner voice. Can I get one more for this King of Cups reverse? I got one more, please. For this eight, King of Cups reverse. Hermit reverse could also sig sig uh, symbolize a return. Someone that was withdrawn, coming back, no longer being withdrawn. I don't really like to use that particular interpretation because I feel like there's a there's a very good reason why the hermit withdraws. It's, it's a necessary withdrawal. Um, and when they come back, because they always come back, it's, it's for the better. So when a hermit is reversed for me, for them to come back, it's not a good sign for me. Because it means they didn't figure things out and they're coming back without a clear answer. Does that make sense? Moving on. Uh, <laughs> I got the Queen of Pentacles reversed here with the King of Cups, clarifying the King of Cups. 
um, Queen of Pentacles reverse. They're selfish, sometimes necessarily so. Um, they're unable to give something of their own because they're dependent on someone else. Um, they lack stability, might be having financial difficulty. Um, so I feel like there's something going on with this person. Um, it's almost like they, they're ignoring their own intuition, telling them that, Hey, you don't really have something to give here. Why are you making a move? Let's see. Tell me more about this Hermit Reverse. I feel like these two are connected. Tell me more about the Hermit Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles Reverse. And tell me about these two, Spirit. What are these two cards doing here? Hermit Reverse, Queen of Pentacles Reverse. Yeah, Hangman Reverse. This is somebody that, and then there's the Six of Wands Reverse. So this is somebody that's not seeing things clearly. With the Hermit Reverse, the Hangman Reverse, there's confusion. Um, there's something that someone is unable to, to um, either they're unwilling to let go, unwilling to sacrifice, unwilling to give something, you know. Um, they're unable to see something from a different perspective, a different angle. So this could be taken a few different ways. Either um, someone here, I feel like there could be two or three people involved here because I have three people. King of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. It could be three different people. Or it could be um, the same person exhibiting all of these energies, you know. Um, but what I'm seeing here is two things. I'm seeing whoever this King of Cups reverse is, whether it's you or your person, that is in their feelings about, you know, whether they should act. Um, either they are not very clear about how to do that or are unable to really give you something stable or they feel like you are not going to be open to them because you are still holding on to something else. I hope that that's making sense and I'm not confusing anybody, but that's why I have unrequited love. Um, there's someone here that has either a fear or knows already that their feelings are not going to be reciprocated, that the, the feelings are not mutual. Um, and it's m kind of messing with their heads, you know? Either they're not seeing clearly why that is, that the feelings aren't mutual, or they know the feelings aren't mutual, but they can't help themselves. They have to reach out, you know, whether you're gonna accept them or not. It's almost like they can't keep this hidden anymore. Now that could be a whole, there's a whole bunch of reasons why you might not be open to them or they might be completely wrong about you not feeling a certain way. They're not gonna know until they talk. So that, I feel like there's an internal battle going on with this person that wants to open up, you know? It's like, I, I, I have fear and doubt about how someone feels about me. I have fear and doubt about the outcome of this, um, you know, but I can't be in this kind of like, stuck situation anymore like i have to do something or i'm gonna go crazy that kind of energy what's the possible outcome here for sagittarius possible outcome here for sagittarius please and this other person whoa Possible outcome here for Sagittarius and this other person. It's a possible outcome here. All right, moving forward. Cancer energy with the chariot and someone opening up. High Priestess reverse makes perfect sense. Judgment at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone's, um, whatever block is here, whatever, I feel like that's going to be, there's going to be an awakening of some sort. Two of Wands reverse. It could be that someone has chosen a path, has made a decision, and that path I feel is to open up and see if this can be successful. 